um, I'll just say that I'm Liz Andrew, the chair of the Hampstead Heath survey section of the LNHS. And so we've had a pretty excellent year in 2022. Um, uh, which is still ongoing, of course, although the report is only from the 1st of July uh, 2021 until the end of June this year. So I'm going to try and run through this reasonably fast. Um, we had nine field meetings um, where uh, members of the public came along and uh, we went out and surveyed different taxa uh, with these different people there. Um, uh, oh, and I've lost my screen. Hold on. That's it. Um, different people uh, uh, taking the lead. And so for the highlights of that, what was quite interesting was the new records on the heath. Now, that doesn't mean that the species is necessarily new to the heath, but it does mean that it hadn't been recorded before or was recorded rather a long time ago. So the first one, Lassius, Imaginatus was first recorded uh, in London uh, quite recently. And um, so that's brought, come over from Europe somehow. The plant galls, there were six new records and one of them, the dry, Dryocosmus uh, curifilus um, is particularly interesting because that's the oriental chestnut gall wasp. And um, that's a notifiable pest. So uh, when we discovered that on West Heath, then um, that, that had to be um, uh, uh, sent in and uh, reported. Uh, other ones of interest, we had two nationally scarce spiders and uh, uh, of the fungi, we had quite a few um, new records, but there are just two that I'm mentioning here. Fleogena faginea has the common name uh, fenugreek stalk ball and it occurs on trunks of dead trees and the Leotia lubrica has the great name of jelly babies so uh, I'm sure that they've been around for quite a long time but they hadn't been um, picked up on records before they're both quite small and hard to see. Um, so three new bryophytes we keep on finding more bryophytes on the heath and uh, this is probably partly because the air is cleaner and uh, because of climate change, it's uh, providing a better habitat for them again. And um, we were really fortunate that we had um, uh, John Skinner who came and did two surveys of lichens for us on, on the heath um, uh, with at least 58 uh, species recorded on different types of trees. And uh, uh, one of those, the uh, Lecanora bark maniana, is quite scarce and only present in the southeast. And then the, the, the great finding was that we had our first breeding buzzard record, um, certainly in living memory. I, I think buzzards were breeding on the heath a long time ago, but uh, uh, they successfully reared one chick uh, and a lot of us had the pleasure of hearing it uh, making a lot of noise as it, as it went round. So, um, so other monitoring and surveys, uh, we work with um, the charity Heath Hands to uh, monitor the amphibians in the spring and butterflies, dragonflies and reptiles throughout the, the spring and summer. And we've only really recently finished surveying those with, <clears throat> with Heath Hands. Um, there's also been a Kenwood bat survey that was uh, done by our secretary, Jeff Varja with Huma Pierce and the Heath and Hampstead Society. The um, sphagnum bog triple SI is uh, constantly being monitored by Jeff Duckett and, and me. And then um, we've got a new project that started this year, the Millennial Flora Project uh, with uh, a grant from the City of London Corporation to the LNHS. And we're, we're doing that uh, with our partners, Heath Hands. So I really want to just spend a few minutes talking to you about that project because uh, it's going, we've already got some exciting results and it's going to get even more so. So just as a background to that, um, uh, at the turn of the millennium, um, a group of botanists uh, re mapped uh, and recorded all the vascular plants uh, on the heath. And um, the, I've just got a, a, a map here showing where 
Prunus spinosa, the blackthorn, uh, was located in, in their maps. These results are all in the, um, in the LNHS website on the Hampstead Heath sur survey section page. If you scroll right down to the bottom, you can log on the spreadsheet and, and download it onto your computer if you're interested in that. But they found over 650 species. And so what we're trying to do is to um, map some of the key flora from that time uh, and also map the fungi and lichens. And this is to provide a, a, a baseline of data uh, to monitor uh, future changes. So to be of use for, to see how things are going forward in the future. Um, and uh, we're also uh, look at doing surveys of meadows, heath and woods using the something called the National Vegetation Classification, NVC, which I'll explain in a minute. And then finally, we're also looking at the emergence of the leaves and flowers in areas that have slightly different microclimates so that we can get an idea of how climate change potentially or the climate at the moment is affecting um, the, uh, uh, the appearance of, of, of the, the, the leaves and the, and the flowers. So um, this is also, as I said earlier, running collaboration with Heath Hands and they're providing space for a new lab at their, um, one of their headquarters, which is called The Hive which is between Gospel Oak and um, Hampstead Heath um, uh, overground stations. And they're providing assistance for the management and coordinating the volunteers and giving uh, ID charts, lenses and various other bits of kit. And so um, uh, I'll mention again at the end, but I'd just like to thank Heath Hands at the moment for all their help and support with this. So just to show you what we've done so far, so mapping key flora um, in particular, in the uh, original survey, um, agrimony was just found in two separate locations on the heath, shown by these red dots. Um, but this year, we've already found it in uh, two more locations. It was in the original locations, but in two further ones. So it looks like it, it is spreading um, on, on the heath. It may be that some of the other ones we're looking for, we're not going to find, but we'll look at that in, in a lot of detail next um, spring and summer. So the National Vegetation Classification Survey, um, what we actually, I'm going to show you what we do rather than concentrate on this uh, picture here. Um, we set down five quadrats on, on a patch of meadow in this case, um, uh, which has quite similar vegetation all over it. And we assess the percentage of cover of each species within each quadrat. Um, and then uh, we can feed that data into a software package, which will, will give us the result. And so we've already done two surveys on meadows. Uh, and this is a group doing one of the the first surveys on uh, a place called the Tormental Slope. For those of you who, who know the heath and know what I'm talking about, and it's a little patch that we thought was um, the, the best acid grassland patch on the heath. And when we got the results, um, it comes up, it looks a little bit difficult in terminology here, but it says it's base poor summer parched grassland. So that base poor means acid rich, really. So this is a, a, a these are both patches of acid grassland. So that was very exciting to the confirmation of that. The other thing that we're doing is uh, we're going to start next year, in fact, to look at the phenology. Um, and the way we're planning to do that is to have um, weekly transect walks, getting volunteers um, uh, to, to, to walk a route, you can see there are quite a number of them in this map here, uh, which were the uh, transects that we used when we did a nesting bird survey um, a couple of years ago. And so we're going to use those routes uh, to, to walk. Uh, volunteers can choose which one they want and, uh, and then um, uh, log the, uh, the appearance of the, of the leaves and flowers as they go around. So, um, this is just coming to the end. Special thanks to, well, just so many people, the, the field meeting leads, 
um, the botany section and the recorders of the LNHS because I certainly couldn't have done any of the, uh, the new uh, Millennial Flora project without them. Um, Heath Hands and City of London Corporation, of course. Um, we also, not just uh, Hampstead Heath, but we um, also survey uh, Kenwood, which is um, uh, run by English Heritage. So I just want to thank the gardening team there for all their help with us. And this is where the Sphagnum Bog is. And then all the other people as well, and especially the uh, members of the various committees of, of Hampstead Heath. Uh, oh, sorry, of the Hampstead Heath Survey and of the LNHS. So I think at this point, I've tried to whiz through this really fast, but I've come to the end of, the, of my report now. So we could probably switch off the recording